so I have we have finished till till calcium the next is candium and we see that after the after the calcium was getting filled up calcium was getting filled up in in four s right so after four s we have 3d d has five orbitals right so the next electron for scandium goes to this that is that is this right so the first electron goes there okay and 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 next the next we should we should copy this right and and paste it right so so this is another d orbital and another one and another Another. Another. Two more. You're done, right? So, so now what happens is, what happens is is the first electron that goes to 3d and and the second one here for for titanium that that according to the Hans rule that does not go to this right it, it moves here and and the, and the next and for the next that is vanadium it, it it moves to the next d orbital and for chromium again it, it moves to 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 Next, <clears throat> now, now it'll seem as if to seem as if chromium should have this configuration, right? But but in reality, it is not that. What happens? There is there is another rule that chips in here that the the half filled that the half and fully filled orbitals fully filled orbitals are more stable more stable than the partially filled ones than the partially filled ones right now due to this what happens in, in chromium this electron here right it kind of vacates this and 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 jumps here so so while you were expecting so so and, and that becomes an exception right so while you were ex expecting the same trend to be followed, right? And and what was that? Till here we it, it was argon. So we were expecting argon 4s2 3d4, right? We were expecting we were expecting. Let, let, let me make some space out here. So so we were expecting we were expecting argon core was there right after that there is 4s2 we were expecting this this is what this is also argon core right and and 4s2 and 3d3 so we were expecting a 3d4 here but instead of that this gets vacated 
so that this becomes half filled because this is an this is an s orbital this becomes half filled okay and when it jumps here this becomes this two becomes half filled so that is more stable that means that means if it is argon argon 4s2 instead of 4s2 if this is 4s1 and this is 3d5 right so 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 let me let me use different color so as to attract your attention so it's 4s s s1 and 3d5 right and that is more stable okay and what do you expect after this after this if the next electron if the next electron goes to this goes to this then this becomes fully filled and it this becomes fully filled and, and and this still remains half filled right so in the next if you were expecting this let's try to see that this is still half filled and and this this is what chromium is and i have to add one more electron then why should it not go there but let us try to understand if instead of going here this electron goes here and, and obviously not here then what happens one of the shells becomes fully filled while this becomes partially filled half filled not partially filled half filled exactly half filled it it it, it can it, it it can contain 10 electrons it is containing only 5 so so after that it will be after that it will be argon 4s2 3d5 this is also more stable and then it takes over right then it takes over as usual so so what happens then it becomes the next the next electron goes there right and the next electron goes there right right so it is argon 4s2 3d6 argon 4s2 3d7 right we go ahead it is 3d8 argon 4s2 3d8 right so so it goes on this 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 flips flips eight here right now we come to copper now as usual we would have been expecting we would have been expecting a nine to be there right and we would not have been wrong had that rule not been there so so we would be expecting an argon 4s2 3d9 but but if this electron jumps from here what does it do it makes the d orbital completely filled and this half filled together they are more stable so here the configuration suddenly changes and it becomes and it becomes 4s1 and 3d10 correct and the next one for zinc again this remains completely filled and the next electron goes and fills up fills up that so 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 that gets filled up and this has already remained filled up we will we'll next see that whatever orbital is getting filled that is the name given to that that class of element so so normally they'll be all called the d block why because we are in the process of filling the d block but zinc is not called a d block because it is not the d d orbital ele electron it is not the d orbital that got filled for zinc what got filled for zinc it is the s orbital that got filled right 
so for zinc zinc is is though it is in the it's in the periodic table in the d block it is not considered a d block element okay but is still studied along with the d block because period in the periodic table it is in the it is with the d block elements right fine so those exceptions so you should understand those exceptions of at chromium and 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 copper right you should remember them they are exceptions while filling up the orbitals and you should understand why and you should remember them okay okay